Well, now the retirement village on the south coast that's proving age is certainly no barrier when it comes to new technology. Its residents have embraced a new driverless vehicle that's helping them get from A to B. And Jessica Harris joined them for a spin. It might seem like any other retirement village, but Elliott Gardens is making history. It's become the first in Australia and possibly the world to test out an autonomous pod. I might be old, but you, you try to keep up with the times. <laughs> Just a, another step forward, isn't it? Affectionately known as Elliot, it uses a specialist control system to drive and steer, as well as a range of sensors and cameras to view the world around it. The pod is fully autonomous, but under current laws, it requires a chaperone to ensure nothing goes wrong. Very reliable. Somebody walked behind it and it stopped, and somebody walked in front of it and it stopped, so it felt quite safe. <laughs> to catch a ride, residents can call or text the pod to the street they're on, or simply hail Elliot as it passes by. From there, it can take them on a series of programmed routes within the village. Take them to the community centre or to the office to post a letter or whatever it might be, and some just want to go on a joyride just for the hell of it, because they can. <laughs> It'll make a huge, huge difference for a number of people here. The pod runs on electricity and can transport four people at a time. And while it can reach speeds of up to 24 kilometres per hour, during the trial it'll stick to a leisurely 10 k's. It's smooth, certainly not fast. All right for old soul. <laughs> The trial is backed by Regional Development Australia. They approach the village hoping to gain valuable data and feedback to assist the pod's creators with future designs. A lot of people have thought, wow, I didn't think I was going to see this in my lifetime and here it is, we're delivering it. So after hearing all about it, it was time to take Elliot for a spin. And today I'm not the only one testing it out for the very first time. Thank you very much. All right, Brian, so you haven't had a go yet. How are you feeling? We're about to take off. Well, I'm quite excited about the first trip in the autonomous vehicle. New technologies, amazing. So, Brian, what do you think so far? Well, it's quite exciting. It's so quiet, autonomous, driverless vehicle. It's a very new experience. What sort of things have you heard um, other people say about the shuttle? Uh, most people are quite excited about it. Uh, a lot of people have a lot of social activities in the actual village. Then there's people who are getting quite elderly and find that getting to their boat, their next location is difficult, whereas this will virtually pick them up at the house and drop them at the door, particularly if the weather's inclement or, you know, not very suitable. They can uh, dial up the pod. So, with the trial now one week in, what do families and friends think? They're a bit gobsmacked, I think. <laughs> they uh, sort of can't quite believe it. They were really surprised that we had something like this, so modern, um, here at the village. They think it's pretty cool, I really do. The trial's set to continue for the next month with the possibility of an extension. Residents say they'd love to see the modern technology stick around. Mm. We came here to live, we're not gone yet and the light at the end of the tunnel is a long way away and there's a lot of stuff to do in the meantime.